We're in Northern Ontario. Trying to figure out what town we're in. I missed the sign. I always forget. Where is it? Oh, they didn't have a sign. That's right. Must have had a sign, because I didn't see a sign. Anyways, this is a little town up here in Northern Ontario. Uh, about maybe 45 minutes west of Sudbury. I like these little northern towns. They haven't grown at all in the last hundred years. It makes them very authentic and very unique and uh, antique-ish. You know what I mean? A lot of these buildings have been here for a long time. I hope all of these people get out of my way. That'd be fantastic. Hey, this car in front of us is from Wisconsin. Merkins, what are you doing up here? Are you taking all our fish again? Dang it. We're here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. I need to put my camouflage on so people can't see me. All right, we're incognito. Diesel, where's your camel? There it is. Good boy. He's got a trucker bandana. That way he blends into the truck. That's thinking, man. Smarter than I give you credit for. Thinking. What is that? That is a strange. What are you looking at over there, Diesel? He looks like he's doing push-ups. Get those gains, man. Work out. So yeah, we're at the Husky here. This is the Husky in Sault Ste. Marie. It's very nice, actually, very nice. I've stayed here many times. They've got really nice, clean facilities inside, clean showers. I like it here, lots of paved parking, as you can see. Paved parking over there, paved parking over here, paved parking over there. There's no lines, so you sort of just gotta make the lines in your mind. Some drivers have a problem with that. If you don't paint lines for them, they tend to park however they want. This way, that way, this way, that way, all at the same time. Then again, in Canada, like where I'm from up here, doesn't matter if you paint lines or not, they're still gonna park however they want. You guys, you guys know that, you've seen this. You guys who drive up here, you've seen the way people park up here. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in the States, but I haven't seen it as often in the States. Up here, especially in Western Canada, people just pull into the truck stop and wherever their truck seems to stop when they pull the brakes, that's where it stays all night. Kind of frustrating. Anyways, we're getting our day off to a good start. It's a beautiful day outside. Remember, uh... Last time we went through here, I was talking about the good-looking sign holder girls who were holding the signs, the construction around here. They're all done the construction now. The highway is smooth. Ontario, you always have such good roads. Why can't the rest of Canada have good roads like you? Diesel, that's far enough. He's still going. He's out there somewhere. I can see him. <laughs> Trotting along. Let's play a game. Where's Diesel? Can you spot him? <laughs> hey, Diesel! Oh, it's windy, of course, right when I start making this shot. Hey, man! Hey, how you doing? So, yeah, we're just hanging out here. Letting Diesel exercise his legs and his heart, keep himself healthy. And there's this huge fenced-in area here. I think we talked about this last time I was here. I don't know what it's for. But it's here. Where are we going, Diesel? Where are we going? There's like grasshoppers everywhere here. There's a tack of the grasshoppers. What are you doing over there, man? What are you doing? You waiting for me? Such a good boy you are. Did you find the gate? Good boy. It's a game he plays. He thinks I'm chasing him, so he lets me get right close till I can almost grab him, and then he takes off. Diesel, far enough, come here. Oh, okay, I'll just stop here and sniff the grass a bit first. Diesel, I need you to come here. 
he's coming. He's just a little distracted. I gotta yell a little louder. Headphone warning. Diesel! Come here! See? Then he comes. Here I am, master. What are your other toys? No, you gotta come closer, man. Come here. <laughs> he wants to run so bad. He knows once he comes here, I'm gonna put the leash on him and we're gonna go. And he doesn't wanna go. It's like having a child. <laughs> Diesel, you don't wanna go. Can you come here? No, right here. Come closer. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. He listens really well. Sometimes I just have to yell louder when he's further away. I don't know if he has a hard time hearing. I know you can hear me, man. Sometimes he just has to know he's serious. Oh, he's serious. He wants to go now. That's right. I want to go now. Sometimes it's in your tone of voice. You don't have to use physical force. But you do have to make him think that you're angry and serious. Or maybe not angry. Angry is the wrong choice of words. Delete, 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 delete. Erase that. He has to know that you're serious and stern. It's like a child, right? Everyone's got a different way of parenting. And I'm not a parent, really. I just have a dog. I consider him my child. So, sort of. I'm a sort of a parent. But I can't really give parental advice or nothing. Like, don't listen to what I say. So what do I know? Uh, but I do know how to train dogs, though. That I will claim to know. I'm not perfect, but I know a few tricks that have worked perfectly on Diesel. And I would definitely use those techniques on the next dog that I get. And yes, I will be getting another dog. When? I don't know. I have no idea. But my next dog, I'm planning, if I were to get one right now, I would get a purebred German Shepherd. I love German Shepherds because they're smart, they're beautiful, they're strong, they are a family animal, yet they're very protective over their family. So I want, I like guard dogs, right? Diesel's not really a guard dog. He's more of a, come here, I'm gonna lick you to death kind of dog. I want a dog who's gonna protect me and my truck. So, you know, I like, I got him because he's a half Rottweiler or third Rottweiler, no, he's a half Rottweiler. And purebred Rottweilers at the time were going for like $800. And so I got Diesel off a farmer for 20 bucks. <laughs> Best 20 bucks I ever spent. All right, guys, let's get back on the road.
We are in Wawa, Ontario. Wawa. Don't ask me who named it. It wasn't me. Wawa. Sort of makes you want to go Wally. Wally. If you guys haven't seen that Disney movie, or is it Pixar? Or is it Disney Pixar? It wouldn't make sense. I don't even know who made it. Wally. I like that movie actually though. So, what are we going to do now? Well, we're having a little break. That's what we're going to do now. Diesel, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that, man? Phil likes the idea of a break. I asked him before and he nodded. Yep. Oh, it's been a good day. It's been a beautiful day of driving. So much scenery to show you guys. As you guys have been seeing already, there's... I'm going through a very scenic part uh, between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa, where I am now, where I went through a very scenic part. It's very hilly. The, the Trans-Canada Highway, which is what we were on, two-lane highway, weaves in and out of the hills and up and over and goes right along the shoreline of the Great Lakes. So you can literally... It's like looking out onto the ocean off to your left, going this way. Uh, but it's actually a freshwater lake, but it looks like an ocean because you can't see the end of it, right? It's just over the horizon yeah. Anyways I don't know what we're gonna do, but we need a break. <laughs> I need to find a washroom Diesel needs to find a washroom. Oh, we found it. It's right there <laughs> In the ditch And we'll see you in a bit. Oh, I gotta stretch though. So we've made it to the Esso card lock. Can you see it over there? Yeah. The Esso card lock. We stopped here because they have a Timmy's next door. <laughs> yeah. It is late. It's already dark outside, as you can tell. Diesel. How you doing, man? Doing good? Little tail wag over there? Oh boy. So I'm tired as you can probably tell here. And I'm trying out this new pole that I got. I don't know if I can show it to you or not. You see it? There it is. I remember when he sent this to me, so I'm gonna try to use this for walking around and talking from now on. It sort of gives you a little bit more of a reach and I don't have to like sit here with my arm. It's much easier for me. So I'm gonna go inside real quick, and we got about another three hours that we're gonna drive tonight yet, so... Hopefully there's someone to park in three hours from here, because there's been absolutely nothing. Nothing. For the past, like, four hours. We finally made it to the town. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm just gonna quickly run in there, grab a little go-go juice for myself. And walk Diesel real quick, and we're gonna head on down the road. We're in Canada, so we can drive a lot further than we can in Canada, so... Wait a minute, we're in Canada, so we can drive further than we can in the States. So we're gonna make use of that today. Definitely. Less time to drive tomorrow, then. Well, we're a little ways down from Esso. We're gonna stop at the Husky here and grab some fuel. Just to make sure that we have lots of fuel going through Northern Ontario, because it's so remote. I don't like to have below half a tank. We're gonna grab us some fuel. Nice and bright. They got these LED lights lighting it up up there. That's nice. Wow, that's bright. It's like daytime. Nice. Yeah, so we're gonna grab some fuel here. Fuel's a dollar thirty-one nine here. 
something you do, you need to go. You can't just stop driving and run out of fuel. You gotta buy fuel. And this is the only place, really. Could be worse, I guess. Could be worse. Northern Quebec is worse. I know that. I've been there. That's bad there. I paid two dollars a liter there last year once. That's how much fuel we used. Or that's how much fuel we filled up for today. Whoever was here before me left their receipt there. That's not my receipt. My receipt gets sent uh, gets sent in electronically. Because I'm advanced next generation trucker. But, uh, okay, where did we fuel last? Where did we fuel? Forget. Do you guys remember? Where did we fuel last? No one waiting behind me? No, no one waiting behind me. Anyways, I th we fueled yesterday, right? So, 562 American, or Canadian dollars in a day. <laughs> Full day of driving. We did pretty good on fuel, too. We did really good fuel, fuel economy. All right. Three more hours, let's do this. Well, drove 12 and a half hours today. In Canada, we're allowed to drive 13 per day in a 16 hour window. And I only have to sleep eight hours and I'm ready to give her, legally. We'll see how I feel physically. We're gonna be home tomorrow. I'm 561 kilometers from home. It's about five and a half to six hours. Probably more like six, six and a half hours and whatnot. Uh, so we're gonna try to get going as early as we can. Get home as early as we can. Uh, I'm gonna need to reset because I'm out of hours. So I gotta let dispatch know that in the morning. I think they know that, but I gotta make sure they know that, you know? So we're gonna be going home. And then... I've got to look into uh, getting a riding mower, getting a snowblower for the winter time for my yard and whatnot. All that fun stuff we can talk about later. I am so tired. Hope you enjoy the vlog today, guys. Thanks for joining me and watching all the way till this point already. Give it a thumbs up if you're still watching. Or if you just feel like it for no other reason, you can give that thumbs up. It really helps me out. You know, it gives me some uh, motivation to make another vlog and simple way of showing your support and it's free did I ever tell you that? the thumbs up button is free figured that out the other day I've been thumbs up and all over the place okay guys I'm going to bed right there <laughs> can I sleep in your bed too please? The bed's a little bit small for the both of us, Diesel. That's why I made you your bed over there. Look, it's all nice and neat. Hey, you want to go in your bed? Go in your bed. Come on, man. Go in your bed. I really don't want to. There's this hungry man thing in the way. I know. I don't eat these all the time. Uh, but just once I splurged. They're really good. What? Delicious. Don't eat them all the time, though. They're not exactly good for you, but they satisfy your uh, hunger. Diesel, that's my bed. Your bed. Your bed's over there. He still calls it a seat. Watch that. Diesel, get on your seat. Oh, that's what he meant. One leap. No, I didn't even touch the ground like a boss. Try that again. Get, go on the bed. Go on the bed. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> Yay. Go on your seat. In one bound again. On your seat. Come on, on your seat. Good boy. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Good boy. Man. There you go. There's a little treat for you, a little dog trick. I will see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, for another vlog with Diesel. Right, Diesel? More tricks tomorrow, maybe. Not promising anything. Do it for Lucy, man. See you tomorrow.